Lots of folks are trying to get those at home COVID testing kits. We're going to send it on over to Roger, who is in New Britain. And Roger, some of these COVID tests are harder to find than a hen's teeth. <laughs> Marcy, you got that right. I never heard that expression, but I assume finding hen's teeth is uh, pretty darn difficult. At least it would be for me as a kid from the suburbs. But as you mentioned, getting these at home COVID tests is not easy. However, more communities are finally starting to hand them out for free, including here in New Britain. And obviously, folks are very excited to get their hands on them. I want to step aside and show you the scene here. About 50 people, 50 cars are lined up here outside Veterans Stadium here in New Britain. We saw folks show up as early as 4 o'clock in the morning, and certainly you can understand why the demand is so significant. Connecticut has reached a record high positivity right around 21.5%, as Wendell mentioned. But leaders around the state say, listen, we do have the tools we need to hopefully stem the tide. They've handed out more than half a million at-home COVID tests, and the governor says more than one million additional tests have ar arrived within the last day or so. The kits, though, are being distributed differently at different towns, so certainly contact your local town hall if you have any questions. I did speak with one of the ladies who was the first in line here in New Britain, and she says the bottom line is she wanted to do whatever she had to to make sure she could snag one of these important tests. Like I said, I'm an early bird, so I figured instead of sitting at home figuring out if I want to be back there, I figured come early, wait here, and be fourth, fifth in line, which works perfect for me. And they'll start actually handing out those tests along with the free mask at 8 o'clock here in New Britain. But obviously, get here early because the line has already started to wind for a very long way. You do need to bring, by the way, your proof of residency. Reporting live in New Britain, Rogers is in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.